<laughs> All right. We have Christy, Stephanie, and Bryson. He didn't like his last trip backpacking, so we're going to see if we can't change that. <laughs> we're back up here to Granddaddy. Uh, love this area. Hopefully, we can have some fun, have some good weather. It looks like we're dodging some rain already, so hopefully, it'll be good to us. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, about three miles in. Woo hoo! All right, it's been two months since we've been up here last, and our little waterfall rock right here, it's almost dried up. Starting to get the evening glow on the, the red rocks over here. And that's the storm that missed us, thankfully. And there's a little view looking down Canyon. Gnarly cliffs over there. Temperature's nice, it's about 60 degrees on the trail. We're about 9,900 feet in elevation right here. Chipmunk. All right, we're late August, but we got some holdout wildflowers here that are hanging on. They're gonna be here a little bit longer. All right, we're coming up the trail. Noticed we got some more little, little purple little bell flowers. They're still hanging on. There's a few of them right there. And even a little bit of paintbrush. All right, so earlier in the season, I showed the little flowers on this uh, grouseberry, and now you can start to see the fruit right there. And they're edible. Oops. Small. Even right here, there's the wild strawberries. I don't see any strawberries, but that's definitely a strawberry plant. You can certainly tell that fall is in the air because it's getting, I mean, things are starting to change in the vegetation. Temperature is 60 degrees, maybe. Um, it's nice. Yeah, we got a pretty section of trail. Those cliffs up there. Setting sun behind. Alright. Slow and steady wins the race. We're almost to the summit of Hades Pass. Like 10,600 and something feet. Alright, just like that, there's the summit of Hades Pass. All right, there's Hades Pass. There's the glow on Granddaddy Mountain. Well, you're there, to the high point anyway. Oh, whoop, yeah. whoop. Yep. Woo. Woo. We did it. We're doing a dance. Look at those cliffs down there. Down Canyon, how pretty is that? And look at the sun glow behind those Cotton candy clouds. Well, all right, it's been two months since I've been up here. And this was a little pond. It's all dried up now. Because of the low precipitation and drought that we're in. Huh. So no reflections this time, dang it. Anyway. We'll get to see some reflections down on Granddaddy Lake to make up for it. And there's Granddaddy Lake. All right, we're starting our bushwhacking adventure. It's uh, Bryson's first time doing a bushwhack through the woods. 
Yeah. That just means we're going off trail, buddy. All right, we're still bushwhacking our way over to where we're gonna have camp tonight. It's not a bad bushwhack. Haven't had to go over any deadfalls yet. We're just meandering through trees and rocks and stuff. We're running out of daylight fast, so we need to get a camp yeah. quick. All right, got one last little bit of bushwhacking here. And we'll make it to where our designated camp spot is. It's nice and quiet. Peaceful, no wind. It's a beautiful evening. So there's the big dead tree with our secret spot that we usually camp at, but this area's got so many standing dead trees that we've been camping out in this meadow instead lately, trying to make sure we're safe. All right, everybody's happy to take their packs off and it looks like we got ourselves a couple of camp spots here. All right, we uh, got to camp late, started late on the trail, but uh, we're sitting down to have dinner and we're Got a little campfire going. Uh, Christy's stoking it up right now. But we got a, uh, I got a, something to give Bryson. And it is called freeze dried Oreo custard from Culver's. So we're going to give him that, let him try it out. That'll be his dessert. Got the Oreo custard from. And Culver's. Well, you, I think you might have to eat your dinner first. But no, you can sample it. <laughs> Oreo custard? Yeah, you might want to let Is your mom like try one from too. from Culver's. Oh, custard. Yeah, like um, ice, ice cream. Like those ice cream. Like ice cream. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. legit. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and eat it up. <laughs> try. Oreo custard. Mm. Yeah, there's... Oh yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Good morning, Uintas. Looks like everybody had a good night. Sleep. Everybody stayed warm. Uh, looks like we're going to have a grandiose day of weather. We get the skies all washed out. It's blue skies. The sun's coming up to greet us. We're just getting our uh, breakfast chores done and getting our bags packed for uh, for the day of fishing. We're going to go on a short hike today and fish some lakes. I got the new dark sky day pack by. Way mark all loaded up. I'm gonna test it out today, see how it does. It's got all my gear in there, fishing and everything. So the bag looks small, but boy, I got everything in there that I needed, so it worked out great. Um, we'll see how it feels when we get hiking around. Very hopeful for it. Right here we have olive oil. On the menu this morning, we got. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Oatmeal and Scrambled Eggs with Bacon. All right, we're starting our day hike. Gonna hike around to a few lakes and maybe do some fishing. And got some dead falls to climb over. We'll bushwhack our way back down to the, the lakes to we fish. Looks like everybody's all geared up with their day bags and lunches and essentials. Got a tarp with me just in case the sky decides to open up again on us. Uh, holy cow, the size of that mushroom. Now that's a big mushroom. Put stand by it so you can see how big it is. Yep, that's huge.
I came down into this area, I don't normally come down over here close to the meadow, but looks like somebody had been in here and they made themselves a little, a little shelter. Huh. It's pretty cool. Looks even got a little fire fireplace in there. That's like a lone show revisited right there. Huh. Got your entrance to it right there. That's like legit. Huh. Wow, they even use mud and mortar to do the bricks. What? Wow. Right on. Oh wow. This needs a new like roof, a but look at that uh, fireplace. That's legit. Oh, look at that. Granddaddy Lake. Once again, this place is so pretty. Got full on sunshine. I don't want to be in the sunshine. Sun seeker. We all want to looking be. for some sunshine. We all want to be in the sunshine. You can't just stop at the edge. <laughs> in other words, get out of the way. <laughs> in other words, so look at all these grouse berries. There are a ton of them down here. I see them like the lighter purple. They're everywhere. So many of them. Not real big. But they're good eating. Mm. Well, yeah. Those are some sweet ones right there. Heck yeah. All right, we got Christy with her grail. It's the big grail. Over here we got Stephanie with her medium sized grail. She's just filling it up with water. And then you just force that down through the water. Looks like it takes a little bit of force. And voila. That's it. Done. <laughs> All right, here goes Chrissy. On the maiden voyage. Maiden voyage on her new grail. Let's see how it works. So we're going to scoop that up. All right. Slippery. Okay. Get yourself a good stable base. Okay. okay. Never done this, so. Put the filter in there, and then you gotta like lay on it. Like. Ah! <laughs> okay. You gotta push hard. Okay, I'm trying. Maybe it's broken. Push hard. Okay, it's going. It's going. It's working. There we go. Still gonna be quicker than using the other filters. Yeah. Gotta go all the way. So if you're like 50 pound kid or something, you might not have enough weight to get on that. Alright. Hand. Tastes like water. <laughs> Pass the taste test. Woohoo! You got one cloud in the sky and it's blocking the sun. Come on. Be nice to us. All right, after a nice easy bushwhack through the forest there, we're back on the main trail. I'm going to head on up to a couple of lakes here. See if we can catch some fish or two. We got super excited down there at Granddaddy because we were well, there filtering water in the stream, seeing some fish jumping in the lake right next to us, so I feel like we're gonna have a lucky day. Check out these yellow flowers. Pretty awesome, looks like there's a bee on the one. Pretty neat. All right, we just bumped into a group of elk hunters on the trail. Uh, Tyler and his group, he's from Pennsylvania all the way here to do an elk hunt anyway he recognized me on the trail and so we stopped and chit-chatted for a minute and exchanged a couple of stories and had 
Had a cool little meet up there momentarily. Wished them luck. Hopefully they'll fill their tags. It's always fun to meet people on the trail. So best of luck to y'all. All right, we just finished our nice short hike to Mohawk Lake. We're gonna go see if it gives us some love and catches us some brookies. Hey, a little chipmunk over there. Don't, don't run away. All right, here's Mohawk Lake. Looks the same as we left it two months ago. Hopefully the fishing's still good. Fish on. Doesn't feel very big, but I got a fish on. Thought it was a snag at first, but it's tugging. Fish on. Nice little brook. Is it a good one? Yeah, it looks like a dandy. Really fighting that hard, but man, he's a big one. Oh, nice, Steve. Man, he got the biggest head and huge head. <laughs> wow, good one. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's a good one. That's that's a keeper if we were having dinner right now. All right, we got a snag over here. First cast. Bryson's the the hero, he went in there and saved four bucks. Woohoo! <laughs> How cold's the water? Cold. <laughs> Very cold. Awesome. Glad you got it unsnagged. Look at that view, though. Holy cow. This lake is awesome. All right, Christy's. That noise. You know that noise the Patience pays off. Uh, did it get off? No, but it's like, do you hear that? Oh, you got your drag. Yeah. Here, I'll fix that. So I'm not even pulling anything in. I Here, can't. try it now. Thank you. All right. Feels like a big end, but... Heck yeah, it is. I think I'm pulling in a shark. She's pulling in a shark on the Lucky Shark <laughs> fishing rod. He's going around the rock. So don't, do I go this way? don't let it get snagged on the rock. There it comes. All right, dra drag it on bank. Oh wow, that's a big one. Drag it off. Oh, he got off. All right, Mohawk Lake. Treated us pretty good considering we only caught two fish, but we were getting lots of hits on the uh, orange. Jakeler. Uh, we just couldn't land them. They weren't strong hits, but we were getting hits. So anyway, we caught two decent sized fish and in a short amount of time, we weren't here that long. So I'd just call it a pretty good showing considering the time we spent. But uh, anyway, we're going to go try some more lakes and see if we can do a little better at those others. All right, so far so good on this dark sky backpack, this day pack. Feels good, carries nice. Uh, it's got all my gear that I need for this little day hike. It's working out great so far. Check out these flowers. That are big too, huh? Look how big they are. It's a weird daisy. Walking around Granddaddy Lake, and we all got hungry. Found a nice log to sit on. Let's see what's on the menu. We got, let's see, I got a Spam Tilla. So Spam, Tortilla, and Mustard. Christy's got 
chicken, tortilla. I mean, white chicken, hickory. Oh, apple wood smoked. Ooh. Oh, low carb tortilla. Sweet. And uh, Ritz crackers and the zesty lemon pepper chicken. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Oh, and, and of course, you know, you got the candy, Twizzlers, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like Christy's got an applesauce, too. Yeah. Right on. Chow down, and we'll see if we can catch some fish. Man, look at those berries. That's pretty cool. We've got a waterfall coming in right here. Might be able to see off the top. Lucky, lucky. Got raspberries. Check it out. Little baby raspberries. Oh yeah. Look at that. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm totally digging this trail. Look at all these raspberry bushes and they're just loaded. That's so cool. Loaded with raspberries and they're really good and they're, they're ripe and ready for the picking. So good. This is a steep trail down to Lodgepole. Which means we got a steep trail back up it. <laughs> so how you liking your new home? Good. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Just need a roof and a little... <laughs> <laughs> right on. It's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, look at those pretty flowers. I don't think I've seen those before. Those are fantastic. Look at this little crick going into this little pond. Lily pads. I got, we're doubled up. I got one. Christy's got one. Oh, he's caught. Mine's caught in the Mine's caught in the lily pads. Here, let me switch to Christy. Come on, guy. Get over here. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, it's an orange one. Oh my gosh, that's a huge one. Holy lunker. That's a lunker. Nice job. Thanks, man. Woo-wee. Can I hold the fish like you guys do? Should I wait till it's dead? Oh, yeah. Okay. You got one? Get one? Yeah. Yay. All right. It's like Stephanie's hooked up. See what she's got. Nice. Good job. Everybody's got one now. Woohoo! I miss Bryson's on camera. Hopefully, he'll get another one. All right, looks like I hooked up on one here. He's a little guy. I can still count him as a cat. Yeah. Fish is a fish is a fish. Let him go, let him grow. All right, hooked up on another one. be the same one. Kind of hard to get him in though, isn't it? It's a little dinker. A little dinker. But I can still count him. Absolutely. 
And get right to the edge of the lilies from right here. And these guys are hiding out in the lilies ready for a sneak attack. Right there, perfect. Already. Oh my god. Where you need to be. How do I navigate these logs, man? That's where I was trying to get from the other side, but I couldn't reach it. Did he get off? No, he's there. How do I navigate these? Oh, he's there. Look at the reflections on this lake. He's fighting me. Fantastic. I don't know, I don't know how to. Oh, no. Just keep reeling. Oh, I see him. He's coming, I see him. Come on, dude. Let's bring in the lilies with him. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh he got away. I, away. I just saw him get away. Yeah. Oh no, that was another one. You had two. I, I was like, I'm carrying two lumpers. You, you, oh, you pulled in two fish. I know. Let her throw yours out. It's fine, I don't need to. Oh, got one. Another one? Goodness. Either on or off. Come on, bro. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Okay, I can't. There we go. Okay, it is one. Yeah. Oh, I see it. On fire. Holy cow. This, is, this one might be your dinner. <laughs> my goodness, Christy. This is lakes treating you like it tra treated miles cast after cast after cast okay. we need to stop playing in the nursery though and catch us another one for dinner know, right? this one's bigger than the last one but yeah. still still a little baby yeah. all right looks like stephanie's got one did he drop off Oh no! Well, I was trying to pull him across the rocks to get up here and he was a Dang! Was it a big one? Not, not about the same size as Oh, okay. Big. So a monster is what you're saying. Yeah, he was like this big. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Christy's got one. Well, I have yet to catch one in Lodge Pole, but by golly, you guys are doing just fine. Oh my goodness, big one. Nice. Oh, oh my goodness, Christy. Look at the size of that thing. Christy's the lunker catcher. My goodness. Holy cow, nice fish. That's really nice. Oh yeah. Well, all right, Christy had to do the job for me again. She caught the two fish. You don't have to hold them. <laughs> we already <laughs> Yeah, good job, Christy. Woohoo!